Good morning, Grade Fours, and welcome to our NST lesson. And today's topic is energy from the sun. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Energy makes things happen, move, and change. The source of all energy on Earth is the sun. And this means that energy comes from the sun. The type of energy that comes from the sun is heat and light. We get all our energy from the food we eat, whether we eat plants or animals. There's a beautiful picture of the sun. The sun gives off heat energy, which we feel on our skin if we stand outside for too long. And it also gives us light energy, which allows us to see each other during the day without turning the lights on. The sun is the source of energy. Plants use the light energy from the sun to make their own food. And the process is called photosynthesis. Let's learn more about photosynthesis. There's a picture of a plant, the sun. Now, the sun gives off light energy. Sun, light, light energy. And there's also carbon dioxide. So it takes light energy, it takes carbon dioxide. It takes the water and all the minerals from the soil. And it converts all of that does a little magic to create its own food and turn all of that into glucose, which is sugar. And we all know that um, we need the plants also for our oxygen. So this arrow here is showing off the oxygen that the plants give off. But the plants don't just give off oxygen. They also give food to our animals. So that means all the energy that the plant had in their leaves and their roots goes to the body of this animal. And because human beings also eat plants, all the energy that are stored on the leaves and the roots also goes to the body of the human being. And remember, we get all our energy from the food we eat. All this is called an energy transfer. The transfer of energy is the process by which energy goes from one part of an energy chain to another. But what is an energy chain? An energy chain is the order in which en energy goes from the sun to a plant or to an animal. It is also known as food chain. Here is an energy chain or a food chain showing the energy from the sun going to the grass, the grass eaten by the cows, the cow, which is beef eaten by humans. So I've just explained in words my food chain. Because you might actually get a question asking you to draw a certain food chain and explain it. And you have to be able to use your own words. And you have to use words such as energy, light energy from the sun goes to the grass. The grass is eaten by the cows. And the cows give off beef, which is eaten by human beings. As simple as that. In an energy chain, arrows show the direction on which the energy goes from one part to the next. So these arrows that you see over here show us the direction on which energy goes from one part to another. Here are different food chains. We all know that a happy vole, we've discussed in our previous lesson, that a happy vole is an animal that eats only plants. And I said to you, the only way to remember this is to remember that habs, the first part of this um, word is hab, 
and we all know that herbs are um, plants. Here's an energy chain of a happy vo, and it's showing light energy from the sun going to an apple tree and going to a person or people. And here is another energy chain of a carnivore going light energies from the sun is going to the grass it's been eaten by the zebra and the zebra is getting eaten by the lion now please be aware that the question says draw draw but I didn't draw a picture of a sun or an apple tree or a human being because that will be difficult for my teacher to, to be able to see that this is a human being that I was trying to draw or this is a zebra that I was trying to draw because your zebra will most definitely look like the same as the lion. So if they say draw, they're not saying draw a picture. No, I will not be able to see your beautiful picture. They say draw these arrows showing the energy flowing from the sun to a, a plant, to an, an animal or a person it all depends on what the question means activity 5 is on page 115 and grade 4s please remember it is very very important for you to underline your date your heading and to read all questions a lot of you have not been following instructions and I'm very, very disappointed. So please write your date in pen and use your ruler to underline. Write activity five and the heading. Oops, sorry about that. Question one says, I'm not reading all the questions for you. I'm just reading a couple for you. Question one says, put these pictures in the correct order to show the energy chain. They've given you picture A, picture B, and picture C. Picture A is of an apple tree. Picture B is a very nice boy there eating a, his apple. And C is of a sun. So you're not going to draw the pictures, my angel. You are going to write whatever pictures in order. And please don't forget to show me your arrows. Because your arrows are actually what will guide me that you understand that your energy is flowing from one part to another. Very, very important. Question two. This paragraph describes the energy chain for pictures above. Copy the paragraph into your workbook. Fill in the missing words. See, on my workbook here, I didn't copy the question. I copied the paragraph. And the paragraph says, light energy from the mm is used by the apple mm to make its own mm. A child, mm, the apple, full stop. Energy in the mm goes to the child's body. So this question is linked to question one. Once you've put your pictures in order, They've given you a short little paragraph to fill in based on your picture. So they've also given you words which you can use to fill in the missing words. Now, I have put a blank space over here to show that I'm going to um, fill in a certain word. So I expect you to please underline the word which you've just filled in so that when I walk around checking your work, I can actually see that you're putting in the words there. All right, and I'll be able to help and guide you if you do the right thing. It will be a lot easier for both of you and I. Question three says, draw three different energy chains. You need to include at least one energy chain for a happy ball and one for a carnival. You can have happy ball, and then you can show your energy chain for a happy ball. You can have a carnival and you show your energy chain for a carnival. Just like I did here. You can have a happy ball and you show your energy chain. Please don't copy my brilliant answer because I know you have better ones in your head. And you can say carnival 
and you can show your carnival. Okay. Question four says, write a paragraph to describe each energy chain. Now, you have to have a tiny little paragraph to show us that whatever you've drawn, you totally understand. I'm going to ask some of you to read your answers out loud and we can all share our beautiful answers together. I'm not reading questions seven and eight for you. They are very easy. Homework. It is in your platinum textbook and it is on page 116. It is a topic revision and I have done all of this. This is all my hard work, okay? Because I also want you to put in the same effort. If it is not here, then that means it shouldn't be in your book. If it is here, then it means it should be in your book. If there is a topic revision heading there, it means there is a topic revision heading in your book. Science language activity, I also want to see that in your book. I'm not explaining any question here because these questions are almost the same as what I've just explained. However, if you have a question, you can drop it on the comments. I will be able to get back to you by the 27th. So that means there is no excuse that you dropped a question and I didn't see it. I will respond to your question if you have one. This is done on Thursday that you will not be at school. Okay, so if you were actually coming to school on a normal daily basis, this is what you were going to do anyway. So please do my work, Great Force. I would really, really appreciate it. That's it from me, beautiful children. And thank you for sticking around. Remember, be kind, be respectful, and stay safe.